Hi, this time we are going to sort the items in the array in an ascending order. So, in order to make a sorting, we are going to use a sort called the bubble sort. So, bubble sort is one of the simplest form that we can use for sorting. And the pattern is we will keep, keep uh, comparing between two adjacent value. So, the array index 0 will be compared to 1. If uh, index 0 is greater than index 1, then I will swap. Then the second in the, uh, the index 1 will be compared to index 2 again, index 2 will be compared to index 3 again, and so on and so forth. So, let's have a, a simple example. So, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5. How we are going to sort it? The first time, we will compare 3 and 4. So, is it 3 is greater than 4? No. So, we proceed. Then 4 and 1? Yes. So, 4 will be swapped with 1 because it is not in your correct order. So now 4 is pending, 4 compared to 2 again. Well, now 4 is still greater than 2, so 2 will be put here. And 4 is pending again, 4 compared to 5. I will get the original order because 5 is greater than 4. And the next loop, 3, 2, 1, yes. 1 will be put here, 3 is pending, so 2, mm, yes. So 2 will be put here, 3 will be put here, 4, 5 remain. So this is how bubble sort is done keep comparing the adjacent data on in other words it is actually by every loop it will push the largest item to the rightmost then the second loop will be pushed to the second rightmost so on and so forth until all the arrays is not sorted so now we will try to implement the simplest version of bubble sort how can we do that we need two loops the fir first loop is that we need to control the number of times we want to do the comparison. So this will use the length of the num minus 1. Why? Because we are only comparing the current item with the next item, right? So it doesn't make sense for 5 to compare with anything after this because it's empty afterward. So I will only have to compare, for example, for 5 items, I only have to compare 4 times at most. And the array inside is the actual uh, number that we will be using in comparison. So where and where we want to compare until same until the length of the num minus one. There is four times one. One is three to four. Then two, three, four. Yeah, four times of comparison. Mm, yeah. This is J set, yeah. And if number in the index J is greater than number of index J plus one, this the current item is greater than the next item, I will swap the number. How can I swap it? I will need a variable called temporarily that we will be using. Temporarily, yeah. So you hold the first item's value and the first item's value will be overwrite by the second item's value whereby the second item's value will use the value stop by 10 so this is a simple swapping that we do here so yeah i think we have already done the simplest form of bubble sort a dot java and java main yeah one two three four five so initially it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then after this it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now we can do some optimizations to the bubble sort. First, do we really need to compare 4 times for every loop? No, I don't think so. Why is it? Because, as you can see, after the first loop, 5 has already in the uh, correct position because we are always pushing the greatest number to the right. So at the second loop, we don't actually have to compare the number with 5 again already. So we can minus another one. So what it means is that the item that is already, the number that is already in the correct position, we don't compare them anymore. It's just a waste of computational power if you want to uh, compare to the number that is already sorted. Right? So the number of times that we can reduce per, per loop is 1. It's i time. So, as you can see, the first loop, 
first time i will become i will be the value zero so still we have to swap four times check the swapping four times but for the second loop when i becomes one then here will become minus two right so number of length minus two will become three times it makes sense because we have already sorted the last item by using the first loop so in second loop we don't have to check again the last item so keep reducing by i let's see if our logic is correct by calling the method again yes another one two three four five well there's another trick that we can do so uh, in this case we will be using a boolean that is holding the flag is sorted equals to false so initially in every loop we'll check if the uh, the number is already sorted so here if there is something that is not sorted it means the swapping is uh, triggered I will actually call the sorter is equal to false then uh, this one will be true first yeah so uh, if you have at least one time of swapping done here it means the error is no yet sorted so I will set the sorted to false why am I setting that? because once it is already sorted I actually want to do a comparison if it's sorted break so if there is one time when we do the looping to check the all the swapping things then uh, it is already sorted no swapping is done I don't have to actually like compare again already so if it is sorted after the loop I can straight go out of this entire loop and print the result because I understand that it is already sorted so try run save things and java java me yeah one two three four five again yeah it's true how about we try another value like putting two here putting a four here Yes, still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It means our logic is correct. Well, that's it for bubble sort. See you again.